Hello there, this is my new four wheel code bot. We can use this as a wedge battle bot or we can play soccer with this. This tiny robot can be controlled by your smartphone. I am using an ESP 12V as the brain of this robot. The complete body of this robot is 3D printed and we can change and connect different attachments and weapons to this robot. So in this video, let's see how I built this beautiful robot. Let's start with this video. I am a diehard fan of battle bots, so building a smaller bot is one of my childhood wish. My plan is to build a tiny bot that should go forward, backward, left and right. Also, the bot should able to attach the wedge or flip mechanism. In order to decrease the total cost, I decided to use an ESP 12V as the controller. ESP 12V has Wi-Fi, so we can control the bot using our smartphone. Such a way we can avoid the use of dedicated remote controller. Our bot has 4 motors for the movement. And to control that, I am using the L293D cheap motor driver. I made the circuit on breadboard and tested successfully. For testing the circuit, I used the Vemos D1 Mini. But our bot should be small and compact. For that, I decided to design a PC before it. I used ECADA for that and designed the circuit first. The circuit consists a programming section using CH340 IC, then a battery charging section and 5V booster section because we are using 3.7V battery and our motors and driver works on 5V. Additionally, I have added two Neo pixels for indications. So here is the completed circuit diagram. You can download this from my site. Check the description for the link. Then I converted the circuit into a PCB and designed the PCB. Here is the designed PCB 3D model. So the next step is the fabrication of PCB. For that, I downloaded the GURB file. For fabrication, I went to jlcpcb.com. I chose jlcpcb because they offer only $2 for 5, 2 to 6 layer PCBs. To order, just click on order now and upload the GURB file. Then we can select quantity, color, thickness, etc. Then select the shipping method and address, then place the order. After 10 days, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. Here are the PCBs. The PCB quality is awesome as always. Now I grabbed the required components and I soldered the components to the PCB. I started soldering with SMD components and then soldered the THT components. After one hour, I complete the soldering and our completed PCB looks like this. Now we need to design the body of the robot. First I measured the dimensions of motors, wheels and other components. And I designed the body in Thinkercard. It has two parts, the base and the top. After designing the model, I printed the 3D model using my Bampulab A1. Here is the 3D printer parts, Bampulab printing gold is nice. Now I place the threaded insert in the 3D printed body. After doing that, I place the motors in the base. The two left motors connected parallelly, also the right ones. Now I connected the PCB to computer. So here is the code for the robot. You can download the code from my site. This code also contains the details of the web app. So after uploading the code to the PCB, I placed the PCB in the base and connected motors to the PCB. Bot will move forward by turning on all motors forward. Bot will go backward if all the motors in the reverse direction. If we turn on the left motors forward and right motors backward, the board will turn to right. Similarly, if we turn on the right motors forward and left motors backward, the board will turn to left. After placing motors and PCB properly, I secured it with the top cover using screws. In the final step, we can attach weapons to the robot using screws. 
After finishing everything, I turned on the robot. Now open the Wi-Fi section of smartphone and connect the ESC Labs Rover hotspot. Now copy the IP address and paste it in the browser. After that, you can see the beautiful interface. This web app is made by my friend. You can find his GitHub profile link from my video description. Now you can see the working of my robot. You can play and fight with this cute robot. You can find all the details from the video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed. I learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing, and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.